Hi there and uh, greetings from Denmark again. This is a burn test of the cheap Chinese moon cigarette rolling papers and a review of them how they are when they are smoked with tobacco. Um, this is the first one. It's called Moon Brown and it's uh, unbleached hemp. This paper when uh, used in a cigarette uh, leaves quite some ash and um, it's, uh, it goes out, the cigarette goes out by itself. So when you see here it's not much left but uh, used in the cigarette it's not that good. Not for my, not in my opinion. This is hemp paper. It doesn't leave much either but um, the ash um, keeps coming off a cigarette when used smoke. This is rice paper, the blue one. Doesn't oops, doesn't leave much either. But uh, also tends to leave uh, quite a bit some ash falling off the cigarette. This one here is uh, moon gold or black. It's um, flax paper. This uh, doesn't go out when smoked the cigarette and uh, doesn't leave any ash falling off. It's quite good this black one. And the red is old style wood pulp. No ash and doesn't go out either. But it's probably gonna leave some ash here on the paper. Yeah. But actually when smoked this red moon here um, no ash is falling off at all. So by smoking is the, this is the best and this is the second best. These freeze I uh, don't like because the cigarette goes out by itself and uh, the ash is falling off. So um, I have seen some other videos on YouTube from uh, moon papers uh, about moon papers, and um, they say they're really crappy and. Um, the gum tastes like chemicals. I can absolutely tell you uh, that is not true. These all these papers leave no uh, taste in the cigarette, except for this one. Uh, but it's not a bad taste. It's actually a kind of um, a herbal taste or grassy taste. Just a hint. It's um, it's it's okay. And uh, the others, uh, no taste at all. No taste at all. Um, I uh, took uh, or removed the gum from the papers and uh, rolled them like uh, on gum papers to see if um, there would be any uh, taste change, change or change in the taste with the gum or without the gum. And uh, there's no ch uh, no uh, no difference. You can't taste the the, the glue or the gum for the cigarettes. So. Uh, if that had been very chemical treated, this gum, or what you call it, um, you, you would have been able to taste it and at least taste the difference when used without the gum and with the gum. And there is no difference, so you can't taste, taste the gum either. So, um, in my very honest and true opinion, these papers are actually excellent papers. They are actually very good and they are dirt cheap. Um, one of the cheapest uh, papers there is. I uh, bought them on eBay and uh, take about a month to get here. Uh, just under a month. Uh, I In Denmark, cigarette papers are taxed. So uh, a pack of just the normal, uh, let's say this one, will cost me 2 euros for a pack of this. Uh, in Germany, the normal price is 40 to 50 cents a pack, and uh, sometimes you can find it as low as 30 cents for a pack of uh, 50. Um, you can also get these ones here. This is an example, these are very, very cheap ones. Uh, this pack will cost you 9 euro cents. 9 cents. And um, it's almost it's almost the same these ones uh, this tends to to taste a little bit like paper and this doesn't but um,
because I have access to paper from Germany, uh, I live very near the border, so um, I I always buy these because they are only nine cents for fifty. Uh, if I didn't have access to the German papers, would have no taxes on it, I would uh, buy these from uh, from eBay. Um, yeah, that's it. I think. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. That's it. Bye for now and uh, take care.